Good evening, shoppers, and welcome to... Wait a minute, that... Uh, wrong place. Anyways, uh... The last tutorial was kind of, uh, quick, uh... On a few aspects, like, uh, how I got a few things. Um, I, I went into them real quick. Uh, it's part of, um... Part of reversing, the more you do it, the quicker it comes, and the easier something might jump into your head. But, uh the harder for someone else to understand how the hell you got it. It's kind of like in math class when you just know the answer and the teacher goes, well, how did you do that? And you say, I don't know, I just did it. And she goes, well, can you show your work? No. <laughs> and they just assume that you're cheating. Anyways, I digress. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make that key gen that we were talking about. Uh, we know from the last tutorial our algorithm for this uh, key gen me is the first character plus, uh, or times two and then uh, times the first character again plus the length of the name and then concatenated on the end of that the length times 100. Um, I'm not going to write a C++ program, not going to write a C program, not going to write a Python, not going to write... Uh, no, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use Ruby and we're going to make a quick definition of generate and we're going to call it name. We're going to do A equals name dot... no name 0 dot 2 i the first character in decimal uh, b equals a times 2 b times equal uh, a b plus equal uh, name dot length part 2 equals name dot length times 100 return B dot two S plus part two dot two S and now I'm gonna put on the end of this generate arg v o generate yeah that's uh except I want puts. Okay, so this is gonna take the first character for a name and decimal, put it in A, put in B a times 2, multiply B times A and put it in B, uh, add to B our name length, and then it's going to take part 2 and put name length times 100 in it, then we're going to return the string value of them concatenated together, and this line is going to call the function with the name that we pass it and print it to the screen. Let's save this as gen.rb, yeah, let's open up a command prompt. Let's see, fake desk, which is my real desk, but anyways, it's Ruby Gen FJLJ. We get this string here, let's try it out. There we are. Nine eight oh four four oh oh. Check key. Serial number is correct. Um so you see uh real quick, Ruby is very easy to code. You can I use it a lot for key gens because it's simple. <laughs> um, I don't have to mess with declaring variables. I can do it on the fly. I, I don't have to mess with uh, converting types and stuff, and I don't have to mess with you know all this fancy crap. I mean, yes, C and C++ is way better than Ruby. Ruby's a simple scripting language, but it's uh, it's easier. Um, so I use it for little things that don't really matter. Um, I could have also used Python. I really like Python for the same reason. It's pretty easy. And uh, with Python, you could actually make it executable, though. So yeah, um, if you have any suggestions of tutorials you'd like to see, uh, shoot me a message or leave a comment. I don't care. I read them all, uh, obviously, because there's none of anything. Uh, anyways, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.